I still look at those photos often and I'm so thankful for every angle, every side that she captured because I would have never thought to. We went up and we just thought it'd be a normal, okay, here's the heartbeat. And instead, um, the technician had trouble finding it. And then the doctor came in. And I just remember standing there next to Becca and then, and, and our doctor saying, we can't find the heartbeat. And it's just amazing how in a single moment, everything about your life just turns upside down. I did think through the fog, through the obscurity in my mind, I thought I have to have pictures. On the way to the hospital that evening, I was calling and texting my friend to contact Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. I remembered um, this organization that specializes in professional photography of infant loss. I knew I had to have them there. Even though we only got a few hours with him, the pictures have given us a lifetime mm -hmm. of remembering mm -hmm. his fingers and his toes and mm -hmm. his nose and his hair mm -hmm. and those things that fade away. And to make him part of our life today, even though he's not here, to be able to share with our other kids about this life, about this important life-changing event that happened. Even though his life was so, 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 so short, he's left an impact in my life in a really big way. And uh, it just goes to show you, really no life is too short to make really significant impact.